How can you construct arguments? Think about this question during the lesson. Aaron said one half is the same amount as two fourths. Matt said one half and two fourths can be different amounts. Which student is correct? What did Aaron and Matt say? Aaron said one half and two fourths are the same amount. Matt said they can be different amounts. You need to decide which student is correct and argue to support the decision. Think. What do I need to do to solve this problem? I need to construct an argument with what I know about fraction models and ways to show one half and two fourths. A good math argument is correct, simple, complete, and easy to understand. Think. How can I construct an argument? I can use numbers, objects, drawings, or models to justify my arguments. Use a counterexample in my argument. Give an explanation of my argument that is clear and complete. What can you use to explain which student is correct? You can use numbers. Objects, drawings, or models. First, you need to decide whether or not one half and two fourths are always the same amount. When are one half and two fourths the same amount? One half and two fourths are the same amount only when they are parts of the same size whole. Here's my thinking. I will use drawings to show which student is correct. Both holes are the same size. The one half and two fourths represent the same part of the hole. These holes are not the same size, so two fourths of the larger circle represents more than one half of the smaller circle. They are the same fractions of their holes, but the amounts are different. Both students are correct. Which circles justify Aaron's statement that one half is the same amount as two fourths? Select your answer. One half and two fourths of the same size whole are the same amount, as Aaron said. Which circles justify Matt's statement that one half and two fourths can be different amounts? One half and two fourths of different size holes are different amounts, as Matt said. Is the explanation clear and easy to understand? Yes. The drawings show why one half and two fourths are the same when they are parts of the same hole, and why they are not the same when they are parts of different sized holes. Is the explanation complete? Yes. Both cases are explained with pictures, words, and symbols. Then the final conclusion that both students are correct is explained. Now you know how you can construct arguments.